Hello folks, how are you? Thanks for uh, coming to watch my video. Uh, my video today is uh, just uh, going to be very basic, very quick, very short. Um, I am describing my board that I built. I'm calling it my JP Duino. Uh, this board was basically designed around a circuit uh, based on uh, what the, a company called Modern Devices um, uh, manufactures and sells. They have what they call their bare bones uh, board and their really bare bones board. I use the schematics from those two uh, products that they sell uh, as my basis for building this 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 JP Duino I call it. This is a basic board that uh, gives you the capability of an FTDI interface. I've got uh, all my I/O, analog and digital I/O pins broken out onto header sockets. I have uh, a couple pairs of uh, uh, five volt pins or sockets and a couple of five volt ground sockets. I have a green LED for power indication. I have a reset switch. I have tied a red LED to pin 13 for testing my sketches after I've programmed my uh, uh, Atmel 328 chip. This board is based on a Radio Shack perf board manufactured uh, by them. Uh, I just built this myself March 1st of 2010. This board is actually part number 275150 if I remember right. But they're like two bucks at Radio Shack and this is the uh, IC socket uh, uh, breadboard. Uh, you can see see the traces there. It's the IC socket uh, form factor. Uh, which gives you you know two extra pins for uh, tying uh, to your IC pins. Um, and my whole point of building this board was making myself a, a board that would easily allow me to program the Atmel 168 or Atmel 328 chips. Uh, uh, basically the concept was to have a zip socket for easy insertion and removal of the switch. So basically when I went into uh, uh, manufacture a product. I would design a sketch once I've got it nailed down and and bulletproof and all trouble shot. I would throw in a uh, Atmel 328 chip, for example. Throw it in here. Close the cam. <coughs> lock my uh, chip in there. Plug in this FTDI interface board. This is a modern devices board. It's called the a USB BUB by uh, modern devices there dot com and that gives you your FTDI or TTL serial to USB capability uh, the USB cable would plug into the uh, BUB board and go to your PC USB port this will provide power uh, to this board and uh, it will also have uh, TX and R, uh, RX capability to transmit and receive to the 328 to uh, dump your sketches into it. But my concept was build this board for uh, ease of programming uh, individual chips and instead of buying a dedicated DC Lenovo chip for each application I build which is like 30 bucks a piece plus shipping which can can be expensive um, once I discovered this system earlier this year I thought you know what there's got to be a little bit cheaper way of doing all this and uh, so I decided I'm gonna build this board put a zip socket in it provide all the IO in and out pin so uh, once I program the chip I could actually use this as a DC Lenovo uh, and and just test my sketch uh, by hardwiring or jumpering this to a breadboard and to my I.O. devices and actually test it right from this board. Since I have uh, these pinouts for power and ground, I can drive the uh, board externally and not need my FTDI any longer and use that to power uh, this particular board. And uh, uh, the other concept was once I decided I wanted to build a little product or a little project for myself, 
I says, you know what, rather than spend 30 bucks and have a dedicated DC Innova, I would buy a Atmel 328 chip for like $4. I would buy a crystal, I'd buy a couple of load caps, um, maybe a reset switch, and a power indicator LED, and do the bare bones, uh, provide the bare bones uh, hardware that I need, maybe a couple bypass caps and a filter cap uh, for the power supply, and have a working system for like five or six dollars and what I would do is use this board to program my Atmel 328 pop it out get my dedicated board which I don't have one handy right now uh, get my dedicated board plug it in and only have the IO pins that I actually are going to use for that particular project hardwired to my IO devices and that's it. Boom. There's my product. There's my little project all done. And this board allows me to easily program the chip for that dedicated application. I would have a small board, uh, probably the same board because I love these little Radio Shack boards because it's a lot easier to hardwire things than it was to make perf board 25 years ago. Uh, PC boards 25 years ago like it, like it is today. It's a lot easier to do than it was back then and that's the whole concept ease of programming a chip so I can build a dedicated hardwired board to uh, drive this chip and run the sketches and only wire up the pins IO pins to the IO devices that I'm actually going to be tying to and do it all for like five or six dollars and that is my JP Duino concept I hope you enjoyed it uh, please give me some feedback and thank you for watching bye